In this video, we're going to look at how to edit your Zoom meeting links in Canvas and set them up for no fixed time instead of recurring with a specific date. First thing you're going to do is open your Canvas course, select Zoom. If your Zoom page in Canvas shows specific recurring meetings on specific days, you will need to change it to reflect a no fixed time. So that way the links won't expire and they will be good for whatever time period you are using them for this course. To do this, you're going to click the name of the uh, meeting. You will scroll down to, until you see the option that says edit this meeting. You will select that option. You will then need to scroll up until you get to the section where you have checked recurring meeting. Chances are it says repeat or recur every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, instead of weekly or daily from this drop down menu, you want to change it to say no fixed time. What this does is it keeps that link working so it won't expire. You can then scroll down, finish updating anything else you want. If you have multiple courses, you may want to select use personal meeting ID. That way, regardless of the course you are teaching, it is using the same exact link to join the meetings. This is optional. Then you'll select save. When you go back to that Zoom link, you will see now for start time, it'll say recurring for the meeting you just changed. It will only be showing on there once. You have the same option to set up a no fixed time meeting by selecting schedule a new meeting. Once again, it's in the same spot. If you select recurring meeting instead of daily or weekly in the drop down menu, select no fixed time. These options are there. You can edit the meetings that you've already created or you can create a new meeting. Remember, you will need to do this for all Canvas courses. If you want, you can also make these changes by going to zoom.us and logging in with your Google um, account. And under the meetings tab, under upcoming, you will see the meetings here um, scheduled with a specific time, date. When you hover over the first meeting in that sequence, you will see the start, edit, and delete button. If you select edit, it will ask you, are you editing this occurrence, only this event, or are you going to edit all of them? You want to edit all of these occurrences. You would select edit all. And once again, change where it says recurrence daily or weekly. You are going to change that to no fixed time. You'll finish um, setting up the rest of the information if you needed to edit that and select save.
Okay. When you go back to your meetings list, you will now see it under the section that says recurring. And that's where you can start it. You can also get to this edit page if you just click on the title. You can go to the bottom and still edit that way as well. But you still need to make sure you're editing all occurrences.